Hello, hello, friends. So tonight, what we're going to do is go over a another coding interview and JavaScript question. This is a fairly standard one, um, and it's a pretty fun one. Uh, this is called the uh, chunking uh, algorithm, or that's what I call it, at least. <laughs> but basically, you're given an array, chunk by size into subarrays. That's not a very good explanation. But let's say that we're given this array into our function, and we're given this number. The number represents the subset size or length of arrays that we want within our larger array. So if you notice here, we have a larger array, and inside of it, we have at number two, at that size, we have subsets of arrays going through each element in the larger array. And then at the end, we just have a 11 in its own individual array. So how would you create this functionality to basically create an array of arrays with subsets at the length of the number passed in? So you have the array passed in and then the length passed in with the number. Cool. So let's figure out how to do that. Let's go function and uh, we'll call it uh, chunk because we're chunking together arrays. We'll feed it in an array and a num. And so basically the first thing that you want to do is set up a constant and we'll just call it chunk and that's just going to equal an empty array. That will be this array right here that we'll put on the outside. And we'll shovel things into it or push things into it as we go, right? So after we do that, we want to do a for loop and we'll do the ES6 syntax of for of. So we'll go for let elem, like for short for element of R. So now we'll have access to all the elements within R. Then what we want to do is set up a, the way that we're going to be able to tell if these arrays are the right length is basically by accessing the last array within this larger array and then checking the length of it. If the length is equal to the number passed in, then we want to start a new array, right? So we'll go, we'll set up a variable called last. We'll go let last equals, uh, what is it? Wait, I did this wrong. Const chunk. Okay, there we go. Uh, we'll go last equals chunked at uh, chunked dot length minus one to get the last element of the of the array. So that will be our last variable. Now we'll write an if statement within our for loop. We'll go if not last, meaning if last doesn't exist. And what that would mean is that if on the first pass, if we just had if chunked was just set up as an empty array and we have this, then th there is no last. So that's our catch for that. We'll go if not last or if last dot length is equal to number or num that's being passed in up here. So if the length of the last array in here, uh, this one for example, is equal to number, then we want to start a new array and that's what we're doing. So if last doesn't exist or if last dot length is equal to num then what we want to do is so if we're wanting to if we're wanting to start if there is no last and last dot length is equal to number I just want to totally make sure that you understand what we're doing here if that happens then what we want to do is we want to chunk dot push elem wrapped inside of an array. So we want to start a new array with that elem, with that element. And if those fail, meaning that if there's only one in here, then we just want to last.push elem without an array wrapping it. Cool. And then we'll uh, return chunked down here. Now let's console.lays log chunk and we'll pass in up here I already have some variables we'll call it r and number and let's see what we get let's go over to node okay so we get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then eleven on its own and that's what we were wanting as an output so let's change that real quick and just make sure that it works with some quick and dirty stuff here 
what if we had an ABC right here and then just a D by itself and then uh, I don't know uh, EFG let's just say that that's what we have let's we'll see if it still works cool so you can see there's two here two here two here two here two here two here and then one here and that's all wrapped inside of a larger array so we get the functionality that we wanted so that's a pretty good little coding interview question so hope you liked it hope it helped Take it sleazy.